Hey everybody, what is up? Um, this is gonna be a fun video. These events are, I've been sitting on this video for about a year. So <laughs> I have been wanting to talk about this for over a year and um, I'm just gonna do it today. So yeah, if you don't like the long rambly multiple tangent videos, then this one is definitely not for you. Uh, while I am telling this, I'm also going to be working on my pioneers because I got a few people asking me about like the glazing in my hearth guard video. Some people asked like to see that in a more real time with less editing kind of way. So I thought I'm working on these now and I'm using the exact same recipe and like um, whatever on these. So I thought I would just show that while I am uh, doing this. And here's a finished one just so you can see that this is what it will eventually look like. But I thought I could do the blue because it's like secondhand, second nature to me now that I've been doing this for most of my army. Um, okay, let's get into it. So first I'm going to be base coating um, and setting the scene. So last February, just minding my business, any other day, um... I get a message and this message is from the games workshop outreach manager andy and he asked me if i had time for a video call and i was like sure a little sketched out at first wasn't sure if he was legit but i was like what have i got to lose so we have our video call and i was so excited because i am let me preface this by saying I am a Games Workshop fangirl, okay? And I know that there are a lot of people on the internet that don't like Games Workshop and, you know, have their opinions and that's all fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But for me, it's very much a nostalgia thing. I have been in to their products for well over a decade, which is a third of my life, more than a third of my life. Um, so, um, so when I got this message I was just extremely excited um and when leading up to this call I was really 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 excited about it um so on the call Andy tells me that oh like he noticed I've been painting space wolves and that you know they want to send me some of their upcoming releases this was really exciting for me because all of the stuff that comes out is stuff I buy anyway so that's really awesome to hear that I would potentially be getting a lot of the things for free to review on my channel. Um, so that was fantastic. And then he was like asking me like what games I'm into, like what products I would be interested in reviewing. You know, I just said like, I like everything except for Blood Bowl. And that's just because I've never played Blood Bowl. I'm sure if I played Blood Bowl, I would suddenly be into Blood Bowl, whatever. Um, okay, so I had said to him that that was what I was into, and I thought that was going to be the extent of it. <sighs> then he was like, so we're collecting, um, we're gathering up some content creators who we're going to fly out to Warhammer World for Horus Heresy Weekend. And basically have you guys all paint uh, either a Primarch or an army for Horus Heresy which is a huge deal. And I was like, wow, okay, that's insane. Um, I would love to be part of that, you know? So <laughs> that's like understatement of the year. So I was in this group of people who got invited to go to Warhammer World, all expense paid, like they're just gonna fly us out to go to Warhammer World and Essentially, we were all going to be painting one of the um, one of the chapters and then one of the Primarchs. I got Rust because at the time, I, like I said, I was working on Space Wolves. Um, and I was so excited about that and just ready to just paint this to the best of my ability, so on and so forth. This same week, a couple days later actually, we found out that we were pregnant and we had been trying for a really long time to get pregnant. This was like the best news ever. We were so excited that it had finally happened. Fantastic, wonderful, blah, blah, blah. 
I remember this week I was so excited actually. I was talking to the checkout lady at the grocery store and just telling her about all of this and she was like, uh, cash your card. <laughs> anyway, I was just so happy that these two things had transpired at the same time. We were pregnant and um, I was going to get to go to Warhammer World. And I remember doing the math and being like, okay, I'll be 19 weeks pregnant when it's time to go to Warhammer World. That's the perfect time during pregnancy because I'll be out of the first trimester so I won't be feeling sick anymore. I'll have that cute little bump. It's just like the ideal time. Um, so I was super pumped about it. And I was like, yes, sign me up. Then I got sent the list of the other people who got invited to do this. And I just about fell out of my chair. It was people like Vince Venturella, Angel Geraldez, Miniac, like the list, like all of these big name people. And then there was me. And it was just like, what? Like, what is happening? How, like, is this real life? And they were sending out, like, the agenda of, like, oh, we're going to go get pizza. And, like, we're going to do this and do that. And I was just thinking, like, I get to hang out with these people in real life. Like, people I have looked up to and follow their, their channel and their content. And, like, I get to just, like, kind of squeak in there and hang out with them. Like, it just felt so surreal. I was just stunned. It's also very nervous because I am kind of shy in real life and I, you know, tend to like say really silly things when I'm shy. So when I'm feeling that way, so I don't know, but I was like, it's okay. I got this. I'll be fine. <sighs> then we found out not too long later, not too long after that, that I wasn't just pregnant. I was pregnant with twins and that changed everything because suddenly I was considered a high risk pregnancy. Um... And things just really went south. And I was thinking about like how much of the details am I going to share? Essentially, um, what was happening was I was extremely sick to the point where I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't keep anything down whatsoever. Uh, very, very, very ill. Just not myself. Unable to get out of bed. Um, losing lots of weight because like I said, I couldn't eat. So I was very unhealthy. The thing with pregnancy is you get sick when you don't eat and you you can't eat because you're sick. So it's like one of those things. Um, so basically I was just hoping that the morning sickness, if you want to call it that, it was all day sickness was going to be alleviated by the time that I was 19 weeks because with my first son, I wasn't sick anymore by like 14, 15 weeks. I was feeling a lot better. So I was hopeful that that would happen. What ended up happening was everything got substantially worse um so i'm gonna go ahead and assume that most not all you know whatever but most of the people watching this have never been pregnant before and just kind of explain a couple little things so when you're pregnant your body develops a new organ called the placenta and that uh provides oxygen and nutrients to the baby um from your own body so when you're pregnant with twins, you have, well, not always, you don't always have to, but in my pregnancy, I had a two, so two babies and two placentas. So what that means is that the path that oxygen had to travel in my body was suddenly a lot longer because it had to travel through both, plac both placentas, both umbilical cords, both babies and back around again. So I was extremely short of breath all the time combined with, you know, having two babies in there. So there wasn't a whole lot of space for my lungs. I have a small rib cage. It's very narrow. So what ended up happening was that my oxygen levels were just not where they needed to be because I was suddenly needing to be a lot more efficient with my airflow, but less, more unable to do that because I had less space because I had two babies in there. Growing two babies is no joke. Seriously, it, terrifying. Um... God, I'm forgetting which parts I painted purple and which parts I painted blue. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This top part's supposed to be purple. Okay, I think we're ready to start layering then. Give me one second. Well, I, again, am very sick. Taking nausea medicine, it's not doing anything. I am dreadfully ill. I am monitoring my oxygen levels. At this point, I had been hospitalized twice for my oxygen levels being too low to maintain the pregnancy. Let me tell you, when you are feeling sick, very sick, 
and you are unable to breathe enough air so you're like gasping for breath and the whole time you're thinking about how oh no like this is killing my babies like my babies are not getting enough air that is extremely traumatic and I was just thinking I was being monitored about three times a week at this point because one of the babies wasn't growing as quickly as the other and that could have been because of multiple reasons they told us at the time it could have been because um his placenta wasn't as efficient it wasn't as big as the other one he wasn't getting enough nutrients there could have been a genetic um like defect that had gone unnoticed until this point like we didn't know what was going on all we knew is that we needed to get checked three ultrasounds a week to make sure that he was still growing um so yeah that was going on um i'm just marking the highlight areas by the way the reason i do this instead of layering is because it just takes the guesswork out of it i don't have to think about where to highlight as I go I'm just doing it now and then the rest is super easy because there's really not much to think about it's just more about doing it I don't know if that makes sense anyway so I was being monitored very very closely and I was in denial this whole time I was like this is going to be fine my nausea is going to be lifted just in time and I'll bring my oxygen monitor with me I'll be checking it and my brain wasn't thinking like okay well what if like my oxygen levels are low again and I have to go to the hospital again and I can't because I'm across the ocean it just I really held on to this until the last possible second, but it started becoming very clear to me that I was not going to get to go and oh god, okay, it was really a no brainer once I like actually thought about it from a logical standpoint because in no way would I ever risk like the pregnancy, the babies, myself. I was just feeling so sick. I couldn't even get out of bed to like take my son to school. Like I had my husband and my mom doing everything. I was just it was really, really bad, really hard pregnancy. Um, so all that's happening, I have to send this email essentially telling Andy, hey, thanks for choosing me, the underdog here, the smallest creator on this list. Thanks for throwing me in there, but I can't go. And I cried like a baby sending this email out. I don't, I was going to pull it up and like show the email in the video, but I think it would be really embarrassing because I was not in the right state of mind like I don't even want to think about what that what it what I said but basically something on the lines of this is killing me to do this <laughs> like but I'm just I can't risk this and I'm just really not feeling up to it uh hopefully you keep me in mind for the next event like this um and so I didn't go and it was so hard I stayed in the discord that everybody was in who got invited to go just to torture myself and um just to torture myself while everyone was talking about like where they were going to eat and like what ho like what the hotel was like and gosh it was really really hard hard time for me um but overall obviously I made the right choice like really no brainer on that one um both babies are amazing by the way they're doing so well they're healthy and happy and just thriving they're they turned 5 months old yesterday actually uh which is crazy right now i am just mixing these two colors together to make a mid-tone and i'm just gonna be adding a bunch of water i just use water it works fine you want a ton of water in the paint but you don't want a ton of water in your brush because that just makes it slosh around all over the place okay so now it's just really a matter of just kind of blurring the edges a little bit and then in this case there's a little bit too much of the light blue so i'm just adding some more dark blue and some more water okay this should be better yeah so again i don't really even know what to call this because it's not a glaze a glaze like barely shows you know what i mean this definitely shows it just makes the line a bit less harsh and then i will glaze with an actual glaze after i just get this first little bit blend it out a little bit anyway okay so yeah this was the horse heresy weekend and i was supposed to be there and i wasn't i did paint rust so my primark did still get to be like shown at the event just without me 
um which was you know it was cool that i still got to paint him up but I, like i said i was so sick during that time period that just painting that one model took everything i remember just like crawling out of bed to my painting desk which at the time was in the same room as my bed and just being unable to like lift my head up to paint it like i'm not exaggerating when i say this was the sickest i have ever been uh and i got it painted and i'm actually really proud of that paint job but because of how sick i was when i was painting it i just associate that model with the extreme nausea and fatigue so like when i look at him i feel sick again <laughs> it's ridiculous um but then after this there's all this controversy controversy that came out about horace heresy weekend and like how like the people who were invited didn't even know anything about heresy and all the like diehard heresy fans were so angry about that and i just flew right under the radar because i wasn't one of the people that was there even though i was supposed to be um and uh i just my from my perspective i am a diehard games workshop fan in general horus heresy is not something i had ever dipped into um but i was just so excited to like learn a new game i am always all about learning any game i possibly can i was just so excited to go to make friends to go to warhammer world obviously and learn a new game from people who were experts because obviously all the people going to horus heresy event that were there i was hoping maybe some nice person could like teach me run the demo like during the demo because you know it was a new version and I don't know i was just really excited about that and then it was kind of hurtful to see like if i had gone like everyone would have hated my guts for no reason um the thing the way it was explained to me was that the people who were chosen to go it, they were trying to get a mix of people so they were trying to get people who were primarily into the hobby for painting purposes because they wanted the armies and the primarchs to look a certain way and then they were also trying to get a mix of people who were into the hobby for gameplay purposes and i think they did a really good job of that like making sure that the people who were selected were a mixed bag because you know you're trying to attract as many people to your launch as possible and so getting all of those uh legions painted up and getting all of the primarchs painted up and bringing together a bunch of content creators in one place like i just thought it was a good marketing idea like i didn't see the issue one of the problems was that as one of the people who was chosen we were not allowed to tell anyone that we were painting up models for the event we were only allowed to say that we were going to be at the event and that we were invited to go and games workshop put out this article that oh meet your favorite content creators but they didn't say in any any place that, oh, these people are painting the models that will be shown at the event for the launch. And I feel like that was critical because it was like, well, yes, none of us, not that's not true. There were a good amount of people in that group who were very familiar with Heresy and played and like were our diehard fans themselves. So it wasn't all of us, but the majority of us were not. Um, so it was kind of random, like, what the heck are they doing there? But it just i feel like a lot of the drama could have been like evaded if we were able to say like oh we're painting for the event like this isn't just us showing up for the heck of it like i don't know but it was definitely a hard weekend that weekend i was just at home again feeling so sick and just wanting to be there so badly um that was just my like opinion on all of that i watched so many videos of people getting like really really angry about it and i just i don't do well with internet drama because i have like a very strange personality in which i am very sensitive so like comments get to me but i'm also the type of person who will die on every hill so like if someone says something about people that like i care about or about me like I try to be like bigger than the situation and not answer because you're not going to change anyone's mind on the internet if you get in an argument with them. But again, I struggle with that because just based on principle, I feel like I need to say my piece and it's not feasible to like be an internet person and have that kind of personality. So that would have been problematic, but yeah, totally flew under the radar. 
wasn't there, didn't get to meet the people, and didn't get to learn the game. I still have not played a single game of Heresy. Uh, I got a copy of the whole of the new edition starter set. Um, and it, God, that box was beautiful. I started painting up some space wolves from it. And again, problematic because I was painting them blue and old space wolves are not blue, they're gray. And it's a big deal to people. And I don't know, it's just not my jam, I think, because although the rules are supposed to be better, I just, I don't know, man. I'm two layers in, by the way, so I just went around and did the whole backside, and then with the backside done, then this part is ready for another coat, and I'm just taking that same ratio, one-to-one, -one, pretty much, and just buffing out these marks that I did. It's totally, I don't want to say effortless, because you do have to get used to the way that the paint feels and, like, the opacity, opacity. You do have to get used to how thick you want it and like light placement and stuff like that. But once you've been doing this, it starts to just, it's really low effort and fun. I find this type of painting really satisfying. Okay. Um, anyway, so I told Andy I wasn't going to go and you know, he was super understanding about it. And of course, like they're not going to be like, no, like risk your pregnancy to like, it really wasn't that big of a deal to anybody except for me. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the people that were in that group were like, don't worry, like, we're going to Adepticon, like, we'll see you there. So that is actually in um, less than a month. Next month, I will be meeting my internet buddy, Darcy Bono, at Adepticon. Her and I kind of just, like, linked up because we're both moms and both in the hobby and I don't know. But, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of go and do the thing and... Yeah, I'm gonna, I wa actually want to show you guys what it looks like when I add the final highlights. Um, so I'm going to actually stop filming for a second because my story is coming to a close. And finish this a little bit more and then pop back up so I can just show you what the highlights look like. Okay guys, we are back. I just did one more layer off camera. Um, so that just took a couple minutes. I stopped doing this side because I will do that at another time after I'm done filming this. Um, so yeah, I just have ice yellow here and then I'll just be taking a little of that. Actually, um, a makeshift ice yellow because my actual ice yellow is upstairs and I didn't feel like going to get it. So I just mixed regular yellow with white to make this. Um, it's essentially the same thing, doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna be mixing that into the blue and just adding some water so it glides better. And then I'm just going to be putting this on less surface area than the last layer. Um, so, yes. So, I didn't go to Warhammer World. I did have the babies. Both babies are doing so well. Um, Amos, baby B, who was the one that was struggling in the womb, is now absolutely thriving. He was significantly smaller than his sister at birth. But... Um, now he's far exceeded her in weight. He's just a big boy. Um, both of them are thriving. Like I said, they are about five months old now and just so cute and smiley and happy. And I'm just so grateful that I was able to have them safely. Um, carried them to 38 weeks, which is insane considering how much my body was struggling with the pregnancy. It's just absolutely crazy that I was able to keep them in that long um, because twins are usually born a lot earlier than that. Um, and they were both, I mean, geez, yeah, thinking about that, that was only five months ago. It feels like an absolute eternity ago. But yeah, one day I will go to Warhammer Worlds and casually run into Louise Sugden and casually hopefully become her friend that was like my is my dream i adore her um and her painting is just absolute goals i think that's enough highlight when i glaze it it will fan out so i'm just going to start adding water again getting some of it off my brush and then kind of smoothing out the edges here um 
I think I've subconsciously adapt adapted my, oh, that's way too much paint and not enough water. Um, I think I've subconsciously adapted my paint style. You can probably hear my dogs. A package just got delivered. I think it's actually a Kickstarter that I backed a long time ago. <laughs> um, I've adapted my paint style to work for someone who doesn't have a lot of hobby time because it's very, very textured and quick. Um, I don't spend a lot of time blending. I just kind of lean into the texture uh, rather than spending forever trying to get it to look super clean, just kind of slop it around. But I'm happy with it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you just lean into the texture and let your brush strokes be visible, but do it with confidence, it just, it's a look, you know? I don't know. I know not everyone feels that way. I'm sure some people are looking at this and are like, oh my God, like, look at all of that, that you've just like thrown around. But I don't know. I like it. Um, if you do like the textured look, I recommend starting to build the texture up from lower layers. So you'll notice I didn't perfectly blend everything in the previous step before moving on to this step. I just kind of left it because layered texture is really appealing to me. Like, I think it looks really good. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of buffing out these edges and... I'll spend a bit more time on it off camera, but I hope that for the people who were asking about this, that this kind of shows just what it looks like in almost real time, very close to real time. It's shaved a couple minutes off there, but yeah. And then, so after this, all I'm going to do is just take essentially that same highlight color and just kind of do some cross hatching over top. I found that to work really well with my army. I think it Oh, this, th no, this is too messy. Hold on. I had too much water in my brush. You don't want to have too much because then once the water dries, the pigment that's left over looks really blotchy. You don't want that. Um, like I said, you want a lot of water in your paint, but not a lot of water in your brush. I'm probably really confusing people and this probably doesn't make any sense. But yeah, okay, that is my story about how I got invited by Games Workshop to go to Warhammer World and couldn't go because I also the same month got pregnant with twins after being unable to get pregnant for almost two years. These two things transpired at the exact same time and everything went crazy and I couldn't go. But the babies are doing really well, so it was all worth it. Um, we're going to call it quits here. If you want to see how this thing turns out, follow my Instagram. I say that every single video because I like Instagram a lot better than YouTube. I put out a lot more content on there because it's just easier to snap a picture and talk to people on there rather than in comments. I don't know, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.